We have the respiratory world. This is our pressure cuff manometer. We have our patient that um, has an endotracheal tube or a tracheostomy tube, artificial airway in place um, to facilitate being on mechanical ventilation, being on a trade collar, being on a number of um, oxygen devices. This is a pressure cuff manometer. So we attach this wick here to the pressure cuff that's in the patient's trachea. Um, it gives us a reading to see how much inflated the cuff, how much the cuff is inflated. Um, so to test the cuff pressure, you attach this to the cuff and you'll squeeze this dial and this small reading here will let you know how much pressure is in the cuff. This button on the side, this red button, allows us to relieve pressure from the cuff. So if you overinflate the cuff, which is too, too high, we press this red button and it'll help us, it'll relieve some of the pressure from the cuff. So this comes in handy, you know, um, because a lot of times we don't want to cause pressure necrosis from the patient's uh, cuff being hyperinflated. Um, I haven't heard about that happening too much in recent times, but there's no way to see if the patient developed pressure necrosis. Um, so to avoid any incident of such things happening, we could use a device such as um, pressure cuff manometer. A lot of times you can feel the cuff to see you know, how much inflated it is. You can't really get an accurate reading, but you know, um, you don't want it too, too full or not full enough, but this is a cool device that we have that we are able to use pressure cuff manometer. Oh yeah, and you, and you basically um, squeeze this part here to inflate the cuff. And you push this lever here to deflate the cuff. I mean, it has a clip. Some of them have a clip. This is a uh, cuff later. But we have several different um, pressure cuff, cuff manometers and inflators and deflators. But this is the cuff later here.